Okay, somebody asked about bringing captions into OBS Studio. There are a number of different ways that you can do this, but the one I want to show you today involves this plugin, Closed Captioning via Google Speech Recognition. I'll include the link in the description to this one, but essentially from this page, we can click on the Go to Download option. This will bring up the GitHub repository. And from here, we want to select the version that relates to our operating system. So in this case, I'll download the uh, Windows zip file, although I, I've already done that. So let me just uh, show that to you really quickly. Uh, essentially, there's a single file in this zip file that you need to copy over to your OBS, Pro, your OBS Studio installation. And for me, I had to bring this over to C, Program Files, OBS Studio, OBS Plugin, 64-bit. The drive letter will likely change if, uh, if you've got a different hard drive that you're working with, but essentially that is where you want to copy this file to. So once you've done that, you can head over to OBS Studio. And now if we go up to the Tools option, we have a new option down here called closed, uh, Cloud Closed Captions, which is a bit of a mouthful. But over here, we can uh, have a look at this one. So we can go into the settings. And again, you can see that it's already working. So if we have the captioning enabled, that will do its thing automatically. We can, we can turn that off at any time. But we want to go into our settings. We want to make sure that uh, you've selected a source, an audio source that will be captioned. So in this case, this applies to my microphone, which I've set up previously. We've got options about when to caption. We've got uh, different language options. There's a profanity filter you can turn on or off. You can actually uh, work with native captions to Twitch, for example. So if that's something that you do. There's also punctuality, uh, punctuation, I should say, options and capitalization. So you can do all caps, all lowercase, or normal English-like sentence structure. Uh, there are different options there as well. So you can actually go in here and set this up to record uh, captions separately for streams and recordings. And while using the virtual camera, there's a whole bunch of options in there. But what we kind of want to do um, right now, and another thing that's really cool is you can actually use this, I think it's this one here, as its own caption uh, doc. So you can bring that here. You can You can move that to a different place if you want to and sort of position that wherever you like it. So I might see if I can put it, um, actually that's, that's probably not a bad place for it. So the question I got though, was really about actually incorporating these words onto the screen. So we can actually do that, but what we do need to do is create a text source first. So we'll go down to the scene that we want to work with and go to our sources and click the plus or add, add source option. We're looking for text GDI for Windows, although it could just be text uh, on other platforms. And I'll give this text source a name. I might just call this one captions. And I've actually, I've set this up previously, so it's already doing its thing. So that's that's kind of interesting. I should have turned that off, but let's just roll with it. Um, that's fine. So from here, we can actually go in here and we can change, you know, our font options. If there's a particular font we want to use, I might use Open, open Sans. Probably want to make it a bit smaller than that. We'll try that, for example, and just see what that looks like. Okay, so this is taking up the entire screen, and it's probably not really what we want to do. So... I'm going to actually right click in here. I'm going to go to transform and go to edit transform. And what I want to do is I'm actually going to adjust the bounding box type here. So I think from memory, um, and I should probably consult my notes while I do this. Um, so we want to do bounding box type to maximum size only. Okay, awesome. So we can do that. We can close that. And now if I resize this, I can sort of decide how large I want this to be and also where I want this to be. And it may be something that you want to think about actually adding in um, some, some color in here to, to separate the background. So let me just go into the settings for a second and I'm going to go and uh, go into the open captions. I'm going to turn this off for a second. Let's get rid of that text. So 
I don't I don't know that that's actually it, it's not it's doing it automatically because I'm also recording in OBS, but that's fine. So essentially, with the option uh, open captions option, we sort of specify our text source, and in this case, it's the one called captions. We can change the line length, we can change the number of lines, we can add that punctuation if we want, and we can change the capitalization. So. There we go. I guess the important thing to keep in mind is that none of this is perfect, but it might be a good starting point for a lot of different things. And again, I might even just want to go in here and add a color source. And I will say uh, BG for backgrounds. I can sort of adjust how uh, maybe tall, how high this is. I might even just go 400 and I'll change the color and I might just make it... I might make it black, actually. And again, I can bring this down here. Just make sure that's underneath the captions. And I could probably come in here and adjust that size a little bit. I think it's maybe, maybe 300. Let's do that. So there we go. We have the ability to come in here and sort of add in our um, our captions. We can make that as large or as small as it needs to be. And we can just work it from there. So admittedly, I, I don't know that that's necessarily the most elegant solution for this, but it is one way of doing it. And I guess the other thing I'd probably encourage you to think about is if you are having these be burnt on to... Um, onto your video, you might want to think about actually making, leaving a space for this. So if you do want to go in and edit this, you can, you can have a version that doesn't necessarily take up that whole space. Okay, I want to show you one more thing that can be quite useful for this particular plugin. And that is if you say a particular word and it doesn't translate properly, then we can sort of work around that a little bit and give the, the plugin some more information. So if I say johnlacy.com, you will see that it's johnspacelacy.com, where we really, we want these things to all be together. So if I go into the options for our captions, click on the little cog, there is a section, there's a tab here called text filtering. So I can come in here and actually add a text filtering replacement. So I go down to add text replacements. So I know that when this comes up, it goes John space Lacey.com. So that's what I'm looking for. And this is what I want it to look like. So I can change this here and go John Lacey.com. I can save. And now let's try again. JohnLacy.com. So it takes a little bit of time to capture all of that information and then present it properly, but it is, it is possible. And if you do find that you have different things like registered trademarks, uh, trademarks, that kind of thing, additional symbols or common uh, things that are being translated incorrectly, you can certainly go in and adjust those as well. So this is a much less structured uh, tutorial than usual, but if you do want to check out the Learn OBS Studio uh, newsletter over on LinkedIn, I'll include that in the links, but essentially that'll take you through the steps as well. Don't forget to subscribe and like for, for future content.